Hello, good morning. I hope you slept well. So this morning is the feast of the transfiguration of the Lord. And what that means is that God wants to transform each and every one of us in the same manner as he has transformed Jesus into eternal glory. So it doesn't matter right now whether you're in this caterpillar stage of your life. Just know that God is going to transform you into a beautiful butterfly by the time he's done with you. So this morning, our text is taken, of course, from Matthew chapter 17, from verses 1 to 9. In that scripture, Jesus takes Peter, James, and John, and they go up to a high mountain. And while they were there, Jesus is transfigured. And Peter begins to say, oh, Lord, it is wonderful for us to be here. Let us build three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. That's because Moses and Elijah had appeared to Jesus and they began to speak with him. And um, the, the Bible says that they were so afraid and the Lord said to them, do not be afraid. And then a voice came out from heaven saying that this is my beloved son, listen to him. This is my beloved son, listen to him. And of course, I like to tell you three things about this very wonderful, wonderful episode this morning. The first thing I like to say is that why did Peter say he wanted to build three tents? Because there were five of them. I mean, there were more than three. There were Elijah, Moses, Jesus, Peter, James, and John. There were six of them, and Peter wanted to build three tents. Why? The reason I think is not because Peter was confused. The reason I think is because Peter knew that they would be in the tent of Jesus. Wherever Jesus was, they too will be. There was going to be a tent for Moses, there was going to be a tent for Elijah, then there will be a tent for Jesus, where Jesus and the rest of them would stay. So Peter didn't want to be separated from Jesus. Child of God, if you are going to go far in your spiritual journey, don't go far from Jesus. Stay under the tent of Jesus. Stay in right there. Make sure that where Jesus is, that is where you are. And if you do that, like Peter wanted to do, you will get everything that the Lord has promised. Second thing I'd like to say about that is that there was Moses and Elijah. So what were they doing there? Moses, of course, like we know, is the giver of the law in the Old Testament. And Elijah was the greatest of the prophets. And of course, you know that by, before the time of Jesus, the people of God were guided by the law and the prophets. So in coming this morning to encounter Jesus, what they had come to do was to hand over to Jesus. So henceforth, we're no longer going to be guided by Moses or by Elijah. We're not going to be guided by Jesus. So child of God, if you are confused, because usually in life, sometimes we are confused. There's so many voices in our heads. There's so many options. There's so many propositions. People are telling us all kinds of things. The Bible this morning, through Matthew, the, God, the word of God this morning tells us whom we should listen to. Jesus. Jesus. Not the Old Testament, not Moses, not Elijah, not the media, not social media, not friends. Jesus. If you want to go far in life, the person you must listen to is Jesus. And the third and final thing I'd like to say this morning is that God is willing to transform you. Yes, uh, you know, for a while now, God has been talking about uh, rebuilding us when we are destroyed, like buildings. And some of you might say, well, I'm not really feeling destroyed right now. I have a great life. I'm wonderful. Exactly. That's what a caterpillar would say, because if you look at a caterpillar, it's beautiful. It's wonderful the way it is, but it is not the final stage. You might be doing very well what you are doing right now, but know that you have not reached the final stage. God wants to take you from that stage to the final stage. And that's why he has shown you what he can do in the life of Jesus. What he has done in the life of Jesus, he is going to do in your life. You haven't seen everything just yet. The glory of the latter days will be greater than the glory of the former days. May Almighty God bless and keep you this morning, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.